Hello YouTubers, this is Raptor. Um, I was having some problems with my um, temperature control on my car. I have a 1999 Concorde Chrysler. And um, I decided to take it apart and see if I can uh, see if I can fix it. Um, the lights weren't working on the uh, the uh, climate control, so I took it off. And this is what it looks like. This is where the um, ashtray would be. This is like a storage compartment. And there's the radio it goes here. The radio stays in the in the center panel when you pull this out. And then here's the uh, control. The control comes out with the whole panel. And the panel actually comes out, just pulls out. There's like eight pins in there. Eight straight pins. That's the back of the controller. There's these pins here. There's like eight of them. You can see it. There's like one here, one here, one here. And they're just like straight, straight push pins. There's one here, there's one here. And you just kind of just pry it straight out of the dash. You just pull it straight out. You kind of pry it out with a screwdriver or usually something like plastic because you don't want to damage the, don't damage the panel. I'm going to take it apart and show you the, um, the light bulbs and what this thing looks like. There's, um, when you take it off, here's some... Um, Right here is where these there's bulbs here, there's light bulbs. One, two, three, and then there's another one right here. This is um, a fan for the inboyant uh, the inboyant temperature sensor. There's a sensor, a little sensor. You can see it. It sucks in air right below the controller. And you can test this when you got your air running or your your um fan is on, take a little piece of toilet paper, you put it up against there, and it actually draws in a little air, and if it holds a little piece of toilet paper up there, you know it's a, the fan back there is working, and it's this little fan, it's this little fan here. When you pull this uh, whole unit out, there's a, um, this is the uh, cigarette lighter plug, you pull that out, you disconnect that, this is the, um, the um, what do you call it the traction control button. It's got a little connector there, and then there's one plug for the uh, for the climate control, automatic climate control. So I'm gonna take it apart really good, quick, and there's usually four screws holding this on. I've already taken them out. And they're really small. Four of those. If you want to change the light bulbs, if one of your bulbs is out on your, um, say your little display on the front, there's little bulbs and there's, they light up this and they light up this little bar here. Sometimes they burn out and you, you can just take them out. You can just take them out without taking this all apart. And they pop out. The uh, fan, this is the fan, I'll show you the bulb in a minute. This is the fan, the little fan that sucks air in there to, to do the automatic temperature control. And when, um, when I pull this out, I pull it out already. Pulled out a little bit of these little fuzzy things, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit of fuzz. And right out of there, I just blew it out. Almost looks like insulation, but it's not. And uh, I just cleaned it out you know, right here. 
blew it out. The fan spins a little bit here. Fan. It sucks the air through there, and then there's a little temperature controller. This is the cover plate. Here's a screw, one screw that holds this whole thing in. Here. Be careful because this screw is a different size than these other screws. There's four different, there's four screws there. There's four screws that are one size and that screw is a little bit smaller, just a tiny bit. Here's the bulb here. Sucker. That's a little bulb. You can replace those. I would suggest going to the junkyard. Because uh, you go to the dealer, they're like, last time I bought one for another vehicle, they were like nine bucks each. They were little tiny bulbs. Okay. Gotta pull off. Gotta pull this off first before anything. like that little bulb goes in here it just takes a little like a, like a little turn take it, put it in your ticket and just turn it a little bit that's in and that's out and pull it out now and that's it it's just a little light bulb My problem is in here. This won't light up. But when I took it out and I plugged it back in, it worked again. So it's probably shorted out. So I'm probably going to have to replace the whole unit. But I figured I'd show you what it looks like. Got to be careful when you take these, this out here because there's a little, little, you can see it, it's a little spacer. For a heat sink. It's right in there. You gotta keep that in there like that. And then there's a bunch of these little suckers. If you can see them, they come right out. They fall right out. There's about, I don't know, about 10 or 12 of these little, little, little things that fall out. You just or for the controller when you push the button. And you push the button here. And you push this button here, up and down. It activates the uh, little sensors that are in here. Oh, right there. These little sensors here. Oh, that little piece fell out again. And that's it. This is my uh, automatic temperature control system. Uh, looks like I got some minutes here to, maybe I can put it back together again. This is the small one, yeah. The smaller one goes in here. And just put it in there snug. And there's four bulbs here. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. And the cover plate goes on, right? Yeah. And I blew this out a little bit. Just, I just blew it out. It's pretty clean now. 
clean now. I usually when I put these screws in they go into plastic I usually go backwards a little bit until I feel it clicking a little bit and then I know to put it in screw it in clockwise this way I won't cross thread the plastic because plastic drips really easy Back a little bit, we're gonna go backwards a little bit. And that's it. Now I know when I plug it back in and push it back in, I'll push it straight in. I know when I, I plug everything back in, it'll work. I don't know for how long, but until I get a replacement. Now I know what to know what the problem is. Maybe go to the junkyard or see if I can find one online. Thanks for watching. That's it. It's together.